Hello health foodies, today I bring to you an altogether new recipe of vegetable balls, my style. And I have made these in api pan or appam patra. For this recipe you need 2 tablespoon of besan or chickpea flour. And I will not be using the whole amount of it, this powder because I keep it ready in stock. 1 tablespoon of flax meal. Mix. 1 teaspoon of coriander leaves powder. You may use fresh powder, uh, fresh leaves. I always keep it in stock. I'll share the recipe uh, link to make coriander leaves powder at home. And if you're using fresh leaves, then you don't you need to store this powder. Now, half teaspoon of black pepper powder. Pulse until mixed. powder is ready now now keep it aside and we'll be using only one to two tablespoon of this powder for this recipe now you will need cauliflower florets florets or cabbage ginger carrots you may use vegetables of choice I have used cauliflower and carrot and broccoli as well grind to coarse paste then add broccoli as well and if you're making this the uh, vegetable uh, uh, balls for kids you please add uh, paneer as well cottage cheese so it will take the recipe to a new level and it will appeal to kids now remove it in a bowl and add salt now add two tablespoon of this powder that we have prepared you may also use rice flour here you may use one tablespoon of the powder we have prepared and one teaspoon of the of rice powder homemade rice powder now make balls gather into a ball it should be easy to gather into a ball and then preheat your uh, api pan or appam patra Pour a drop of oil in each cavity of api pan. I use very little oil. You may add little more. Or you may bake these as well if you want. But baked ones might be slightly harder. So if you want to bake these then I advise you to use at least one teaspoon of oil in these balls. Before kneading it add one teaspoon of oil now cover for one minute and then flip sides and heat on medium flame slow to medium keep checking after every one minute flip sides because i don't want these to brown too much so this will keep an eye on these so continue to flip sides you may brush little oil on top of these balls to prevent them from drying too much. Balls are done and I use these balls to make my Manchurian gravy as well and for my manchurian gravy i do not use enginamoto corn flour or soy sauce i in fact i use this powder to make my manchurian gravy as well and i'll show you sometime how i make manchurian gravy with it do share this healthier version of vegetable balls with me do try this out and share your feedback i hope you like this recipe if you do please like share and subscribe until next time bye bye